Welcome to the Health Fix Podcast, where health junkies get their weekly fix of tips, tools, and techniques to have limitless energy, sharp minds, and fit physiques for life. Hey, health junkies. On this episode of the Health Fix Podcast, I'm interviewing Dr. Shivani Gupta. She is a practitioner of Ayurvedic medicine. She's an expert in fusing Eastern and Western practices that help keep our bodies balanced and reducing inflammation is her jam. And she actually did a PhD research study on turmeric and the benefits of turmeric and really has some great insights into turmeric products and really what is best for absorption, what is best for utilization by our human bodies. And so she created her own formulas and they're amazing. So Fusionary Formulas is her website and she has hormone rebalance tea. She has, like I mentioned, the turmeric gold. She also has an inflammation product, just cool stuff. You don't have to be a woman to experience the hormone balancing. It's also great for guys. And she has a sleep tea. So I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy this great podcast where Dr. Shivani and I really just chat about how herbs can become part of your life, can be part of your transitions during the day, can help you to get into chill mode and work on that inflammation over time. So let's introduce you to Dr. Shivani Gupta. Dr. Shivani, welcome to the Health Fix Podcast. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Hey, it's my pleasure. I'm always happy to have folks on that work with Ayurveda, that work with Chinese medicine, you know, things that we don't get a lot of publicity on. And so I am happy to talk about it. So let's let's have folks kind of bring you in to, to the circle here. We like to talk about how you got into having your own formula line and being a PhD as well. So, so tell us, how did you get into the health field as a whole? I think like many of us in the health field, we start with our own health struggle that brings us to that door. So growing up, I grew up in Houston, Texas, to an immigrant family. I'm Indian. And so I grew up inside my home being very Indian and outside my home being very Western. And also every year we'd go to India to be with our cousins and our family and my grandparents. And when I was in India, my grandma would treat me with teas and herbs and turmeric and spices. And when I was here in the U.S., we'd go to the drugstore and pick up something and take it. And so eventually, by the time I got to high school and college, I couldn't understand why I was chronically sick. I couldn't understand why I was the only one who was having to take antibiotics month after month. And everyone else got to go travel and have fun. And I always got left behind. And so by the time I hit college, I was disastrously sick in India one time. They took me to the doctor again. He was going to blow up my gut with crazy antibiotics and medications again. And I looked at him and I was like, no, we're not (laughs) doing this. We can't do this again. I cannot like, tell me what you're giving me out of 12 drugs. Like, what are these? And he's like, oh, well, the first one's an antibiotic and the rest are for symptoms. And something just rose up in me and screamed and said, no, thank (laughs) God my intuition was finally developing. And (laughs) I said, I'm not taking all that. Thank you. And why don't you step down the antibiotic? And if I'm not saved in this journey, I'll come back to you, I'm sure, for something stronger. And it was the first time I took sovereignty over my health in a way that I finally said, okay, mom and dad, look outside the door. We're in the land of yoga and Ayurveda. (laughs) Maybe they can fix me but because nothing else is working. And so Mm -hmm. I just went on this exodus journey through India, through the Himalayas, all over. I just sat at the feet of the gurus and I was like, just fix me. And then (laughs) once it worked, I was like, wow, this stuff really works. Uh, Let me use my, my marketing hat and my entrepreneurial hat, my social entrepreneurial hat and figure out what keys and golden nuggets from Ayurveda can I pull that we would actually do in the West? Because Ayurveda is very vast and complex. And I don't think most people are willing to do all that work. Yeah. 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 That's kind of what I've found as a whole in terms of the 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 d- three different doshas and trying to balance the doshas and then trying to take the food. And, you know, it's just like people are like, uh... <laughs> Exactly. I'm out. (laughs) Exactly. So I simplify it. I simplify it. I get them to just embody it, practice it, live it, love it. And then once they do, 
they were like, okay, what do I do next? I'm like, just do more of that. If you do mm -hmm. more of, of holding the practice, you get to go deeper with it and deeper with it. And then you win. Ah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So, you know, one of the big things that a lot of folks do link back to, to maybe not even Ayurvedic, they're, they're linking it back to just Indian medicine as a whole is turmeric. And turmeric's hot, right? It's popular. Folks are always kind of debating on is liposomal better? Is this type of one? Is that type of one better? And so I would love, love, love to hear kind of how turmeric helped you, because I'm guessing that was probably one of the main things in the formula that you were given. And then how you came to decide that, okay, I'm going to use it with bioparine and, and give us a little scoop on that and how that works. Sure. So I was doing my master's. I, I went through India, studied Ayurveda in depth, came back and I was like, well, I'd still need a formal education in this thing if I'm going to write books and teach people about this. So I did my master's in Ayurvedic sciences and sitting in herbology class, every herb that we recommend mm -hmm. in Ayurvedic medicine is used pretty much in Indian cooking. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, I'm a lucky duck that I'm Indian and I've got <laughs> to grow up eating this food. And this is what I feed my children. And when we got to turmeric, I was like, wait a minute, my whole family, my whole life has been dying of diabetes, suffering with all the advanced ages of it. My whole life is built on preventing diabetes and building an immune system. And turmeric was the spice that could have saved us. Are you kidding? Like we eat mm. turmeric. What is this? And so I was talking to my advisor at the time and he's like, you, I think you should do a PhD. And if that's the topic you're most fascinated by, why don't you do it on that? So I did an entire dissertation on turmeric, the spice. I became obsessed with it. Obviously. I think <laughs> it helps with everything on earth. I think that there's so many pathologies that it can support. Um, I have, as a researcher, I can say a lot of things. And as a supplement company owner, I can just say a few. So going into the turmeric <laughs> itself, out of all of the turmeric plant, only 3% is the curcuminoids. And out of those curcuminoids, the one curcumin, it is, is the most effective at reducing inflammation. And so what's interesting is a lot of turmeric supplements exist, and they'll give you a lot of curcuma longa. Yeah. Curcuma longa is just the plant name. They're just giving you regular turmeric powder, which we all could have bought for three bucks. So that infuriates me. So I'm like, guys, yes, turmeric as a whole plant is very important. Yes, it's very effective. But usually the reason people are taking a turmeric supplement is either they know they have inflammation or they have pain or joint pain. And they're trying to really take this as a natural alternative for pain. Mm -hmm. So what I did after I did my PhD, I was obsessed and my family was like, if you're going to be that obsessed, why don't you create a turmeric supplement that you believe in that you would want to create? And so I created mine with the goal of all of orthopedic medicine should not have to give us the level of NSAIDs and opioids that they give us to solve our pain. Because I myself had thrown out my back, I had plantar fasciitis, and every time I took NSAIDs, it would cause me a lot of stomach pain. And so I just built it with that hypothesis of, can I replace those? Can I sit alongside and be an adjunct solution in the toolkit of orthopedic medicine and people come off their um, solution that has uh, side effects and they instead take my natural solution. And it worked. I built it seven years ago and we already proved that to be true because we have tons of doctors all over the US who do that. So to me, it came down to sourcing it well and creating mm -hmm. it in a format where I could consistently know that the result we're giving is going to be very consistent to the patient. I wanted that patient outcome to be one that we could publish about and prove without a doubt. So I sourced out of South India. I know my suppliers very well. We're always on calls and meeting to try to innovate and like even further increase absorption. There is a whole boat of people who think turmeric with a healthy fat is better, like a li liposomal mm -hmm. turmeric. Then mm -hmm. there's us with the turmeric black pepper crew. What's interesting is there was no apples to apple study that I could find in my entire PhD time that made one better than the other. What's interesting is a lot of companies go out there, they kind of behave like pharma. They take a, a molecule, they break a piece off of curcumin or curcuminoids or turmeric. And they're like, look, I have this new fancy, super special turmeric. And then they put science behind it to prove that that is better than regular turmeric with black pepper. And then they say, thus, healthy fat is better. But they never went through and just did an apples to apples. And I found that fascinating. I bet <laughs> you someone has done it and they just haven't published it. I want to find it because I'm curious. <laughs> I have a lot of theories like I want to prove and publish in this lifetime on turmeric. 
um, like turmeric for telomeres. We don't have enough published science, but we know it's true. So I, I can't wait to find ways to publish more. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's so much there. I, I'm a total nerd on this topic, but I believe in the end, most of us are inflamed. Most of us need to get that chronic low-grade persistent inflammation down. And turmeric is one very powerful tool to get us there. And when we have joint pain, we shouldn't always take things that give us side effects. We have natural alternatives when they are well-built and potently built the right way. Makes a hundred percent sense. And, and I think, you know, probably one of the biggest things I hear from folks is, yeah, but I tried the herbal turmeric and I tried the anti-inflammatory herbal formula and didn't work for me. And, and so then they're like that the herb stuff doesn't work. And I'm like, well, what did they get? Right. Was it the 999 bottle of curcumin plant that they got, you know, in powder at Costco or, or what happened? So I I think for a lot of folks, they're going to be like, okay, so you mentioned that there's a piece of the puzzle. There's a a curcuminoid that's used, you know, and, and a lot of people will think about the BCM 95 one, and they'll think of the different versions. Can you explain a little bit about the, what folks could find out there if they had maybe in a little bit more of an upgraded formula than just straight curcuma longa? Sure. So curcuma longa is just turmeric, the plant. When they say turmeric or turmeric extract, and it's not standardized, Mm -hmm. they could be doing anything. It's just regular Mm -hmm. turmeric. It took me until after my PhD was done to start really understanding what the labels meant because they are so confusing. It's insane, Mm -hmm. especially with turmeric supplements. Like above all, I find, because I am a supplement junkie. I go to Whole Foods, Sprouts, everywhere. I look at the labels. I mainly shop all of my supplements that I consume from doctor's offices because I trust my functional medicine, chiropractic, naturopathic, and acupuncture physicians to try supplement companies and see personally what moves the needle when it comes to their patients. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I always ask, have you seen their vitamin D move using that product? If you haven't, I'm not trying it. I'm not an experiment. I need (laughs) to know what really works. I don't have time or money to waste on stuff that I'm consuming that doesn't do the job. So out of turmeric, there are a lot of um, patented turmeric supplements or or even turmeric ingredients out there. Like there's BCM 95. Mm -hmm. There's many others. I think there's one called Mariva. Yes. um, Very popular. And it's interesting. I just went to a supplier conference. So I met like 50 other suppliers of curcumin compounds. And the thing is everyone in the industry is doing that because they need to have the ingredient manufacturers publish science on ingredients so that they can quote that science. And I understand that. It's, it's one approach. My approach is I know that Ayurvedic medicine works. I know that the ingredient that I supplied from in South India is a 98% grade potency of just the curcumin. And I'm using that and I'm publishing my own science on how it works because I have orthopedic surgeons all over who are shell shocked that our formula works. And they're like, Hey, can we do a trial in my office? Can we do a trial in my office? I'm so interested. Um, So yeah, it's just different approaches. It's different theories. To me, the more I can push that curcumin to be effective in the body and the more I can add to make it absorb better, the more I'm delivering the result that people want. So I have two formulas, turmeric gold and inflammation relief. In inflammation Mm -hmm. relief, I used all the herbs that Ayurveda would have given you for inflammation. And that one works more like a symphony because when you do things in the right proportion, in the right order, you're even mitigating the negative effect of putting such powerful extracts into the body. So Ayurvedic medicine has its own intelligence, its own wisdom. And so that's more of the the work that I play with is how do we constantly support the body and deliver that powerful result while supporting all systems at the same time? And so that's going to be different than your $10, $20 Costco solution where someone just threw an ingredient in a pill and said, this will support (laughs) most it's not even that potent. So it'll definitely have no, no problems with anybody. Like my supplement's so potent. I tell everyone, please start just one a day with food. Give it a couple days. I need you to adjust to how powerful this is. Then you move up. Makes sense. It makes sense. And, and yes, you know, one of the things that, that I think a lot of folks are 
looking for now is like, oh, it says turmeric. Okay, we're, you know, I got that answer. It's like check the box, but unfortunately it's not a just that easy check the box. Oh, that's in there kind of thing. So I would love to talk about your inflammation relief product because let's put it this way. Like you said earlier, everyone's kind of inflamed. We have a lot of folks who are struggling with post COVID long haul stuff. We have a lot of folks who just, you know, like, like you're saying with your family, diabetes, things of that nature. And you have some very interesting, um, a combination here, but one in particular that's interesting to me, and I'm probably going to say it wrong. So good. Good. How do you say it? Yeah, Guruji. Guruji. Okay. I've never heard of it before. So, so tell us like, okay, I'm going to back up a second because you've got your different proprietary blend, but you also have your different amounts of the turmeric, the boswellia, and the Guruji in there. Did that come from an ancient formula for inflammation? Like, did you come up, like, give us a scoop. How'd you, how'd you come up with that one? Yeah, that's an herb from the Ayurvedic pharmacy that's like one of the most valued ones. It's known as like a nectar that's been given to us for us to use. And it's potent for stress, like resistance to stress. It's re- it's good for anxiety. It's good for any illness in the body. Um, all aspects of that plant can be used to support us. It helps with arthritis and inflammation, helps with skin disorders, rheumatic diseases, prevention because it's a powerful inflama- uh, immune support. So the way I look at each formula, I look back at what Ayurveda has used for over 5,000 years to support us. Mm-hmm. And typically I sit down and I intuitively will get a hit on what my next formula is. So I've already designed my next adaptogenic formula for us as women. And I'm, I cannot wait to make that nice. one. Um, and then what I'll do, I'll partner with my Ayurvedic pharmacologists and I'll say, look, you guys have done this for all the big Ayurvedic companies. I, this is my dream formula. What do you think? And we'll tinker with it. We'll, we'll, they'll say, look, I think you should increase this. I think you should increase that. Here's how we should do it proportionally. Then I still go and run it by three Ayurvedic doctors who are MDs to quadruple check that when we put this in the body, the response will be good because we're here in the West. We're not sitting in India 5,000 years ago. We're here mm. in a different population in a different time. And for me, I kind of drive the factory nuts because I'm always trying to jam as much as I can in the pill. And they're like, Shivani, first of all, no one does this. It's supposed to be like mm-hmm. half stuff, half filler. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm trying to <laughs> deliver a result. And they're like, you are crazy. And there's no more, like there's no more <laughs> space in the pill. So me and the team kind of sit down and we make sure that as much as we can give, we are. Um, And then we're also trying to make sure that the the proportion is right. So in inflammation relief, the top two ingredients are the curcumin with the guruji. Then next up in there, I have the baswilia, lesser. And we then from there go into the amla and the other things. Amla is a powerful antioxidant, very powerful Mm -hmm. Um, superfood for all of us. And it's all done in the right proportions, in the right way, so that the first two herbs are doing the main job. Then the next set of herbs is the secondary supportive to achieve that job. Then the third set of herbs is there to increase the absorption across the correct systems of the body. Then the fourth and fifth, like the last ones are there for absorption and or making sure that we're, we're only doing what we're supposed to. And then we get out. Like mm-hmm. it's not meant to just it's not so Western and and like hitting it with a hammer as typical extracts are. Mm-hmm. And turmeric gold, which is really more popular, is that. It's just like a direct hit. It's going to just reduce the systemic inflammation, body will absorb it, and then it's done. So I use turmeric gold as a daily preventive. Like, all right, we just, we all know we have that inflammation. Let's take a support and just, it'll do its job. And inflammation relief is for all of us who, when we are inflamed and we know we're inflamed, We take that one. And then I have thousands of people who take both and they call that their pain solution bundle. Like that keeps them Mm -hmm. off of NSAIDs and off of pain meds. Wow. Wow. I like how you mentioned the formulary, how you've got the, the, for folks to really understand how medicine in terms of the ancient medicines work, we are have like the main players that are going to be in the higher dosages. And then we've got the proprietary blend. It's kind of like the synergy. So I like how you describe that because I think a lot of people don't understand how these things are set up. They just think everything has like a big hitter kind of thing. Yeah, no, there's, there's different approaches. And, and to me, if, if the, 
we all know that the body has an intelligence and the body wants to be at homeostasis. So we need to play with the body. It's mm-hmm. not that we can just force the body to keep doing what we want to do. I think that's why we have the level of disease and issues we have is because we think that the body is separate from us mm-hmm. when instead, what about the intention with which we take what we take? What about really researching who created it? What about the energy they put in? I have a lot of energy that I bless every pack of orders that I drop to the post office myself every day. So there's a lot of um, love that can go into what's made. And then there's also a lot of self-love that we can give to ourselves when we consume what we consume. So it's a two-way street there. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I think a lot of folks are probably going, okay, so you're actually sometimes taking things to be shipped off, which we don't hear that a lot, right? Some of the big hitter companies that you have no idea who's taking things off to to be shipped. Where's everything like packs, packaged? (laughs) So all my ingredients are from India and or Ecuador. We're very careful about how we're sourcing the ingredients in Fusionary. All of it's manufactured in Jacksonville, Florida. Mm-hmm. So I wanted Florida or U.S. production where I can go see the factory and, and walk in on production days and know that everything I ordered from the veggie caps to the ingredients to the testing is done to the right standards because I built it for all of medicine to give to their patients. That's a lot of trust that this huge level of doctors is giving into me to use this. So I I took that part very seriously. Um, Then once it's produced, it all gets shipped to my office in South Florida and my team and I have our offices there and then we have fulfillment there. So we pack the orders. If I'm there, I write little love notes on the orders because I know a lot of the people who take it or I'll write like be well and I'll sign my name. Um, And then half the time I'm the one delivering the orders to the post office. And then sometimes it's one person who's on my team. So it just depends. And then I answer the 800 number still. So I get to talk to people and I'll say, oh, how'd you hear about us? Oh, it was that doctor. Yes. What is your health issue? And then I always say, call me back. Like, let me know how it helped you. Cause that's how I learn. Oh, we're so effective for when people's hands stop working. Cause they have that type of joint pain or their back started working. Like they could walk again. So I get to hear all that. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. And the fact that you're answering the 800 number, (laughs) folks, this is is absolutely unheard of that um, one of the owners and the creator is going to be the person that you talk to. So that that's huge. That's huge. So let's let's talk a little bit about some of your other formulas, but also how they kind of fit into Ayurvedic medicine, because you have a lot for women. I notice, and there's a sleep tea and there's, you know, so the women's bundle and, and most of my podcast listeners, of course, are, are middle-aged or headed into perimenopause and beyond ladies. And so sleep's a factor for us and all the changes that happen with women's health and you even have men's health too. So guys, don't worry, we're going to get to you here in a second. So tell us a little bit about the women's wellness bundle, how you kind of brought in some of your knowledge and and created that one. Sure. So to me, the root cause that we need to all address is inflammation. So I start there always. What is the issue? What are your symptoms? What are you dealing with? I think 95% of us in the world need to take turmeric gold. Just get that inflammation down. If we have a known issue or we know we're inflamed or sometimes if I eat an inflammatory meal out and about, or I'm at the gym and I irritate something, which I do on a weekly basis, I'll add on inflammation relief. I just keep it around so I can bring it right in. So that's like my foundation. Then when I was doing all my research, I realized, well, the people who are inflamed and have all this joint pain, obviously, oftentimes don't sleep well. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, wow, but if sleep is when we clear inflammation, they're in this horrible loop where they're always inflamed but then they're not sleeping, but then they're always inflamed. That's so unfair. (laughs) So, okay, let me fix the sleep problem. So I developed a, my theory was, can I develop a tea that's as potent as a supplement? I wasn't Mm -hmm. sure. So I designed a deep sleep tea and it's phenomenal. It's so yummy. I'm obsessed. All my friends are obsessed. We drink it at night and it relaxes the mind, relaxes the digestive system and puts you to sleep. Some people can't go to sleep because of their mind or their energy I do a lot of sleep coaching. So I'm like, guys, we all just need to exercise more and we need to have sleep rituals and you would sleep. But in addition, you can add sleep tea as that supportive ritual because it's full of ashwagandha, bhami, cardamom, like all the herbs Ayurveda would have given you for a better night's sleep. 
Mm-hmm. But then in addition, there's many people who either like I've taken sleep supports that are in pill form where I'm like, oh, I just want to make sure that if I have a speaking engagement or an event or travel, I'll get a complete night sleep. And what frustrated me was if you take a pill, you will wake up when it thinks you got enough sleep, like when it's complete with its job. What if I want that kind of control? And so I developed a deep sleep sublingual drop formula where you take only as much as you want for how much sleep you want. So let's say you Mm -hmm. want eight hours, you take 16 drops and you can move up to three drops per hour based on how big you are and your needs and whatever your absorption. And then let's say you wake up at three in the morning every day. You could just take it for that last three hours of sleep that you needed. So I use it that way all the time. If I wake up in the middle of the night or I'm traveling or if I had a glass of wine, which ruins my sleep (laughs) so badly, I'll take it at three and then I'll get that last three hours and I'm all set. So insomnia people, it helps for that as well. Um, Those two formulas, it's funny. I developed them and I thought, wow, all of us women, we'll just take it. It'll be awesome. Every woman who buys it, buys it for her husband because the (laughs) men don't sleep well. In the pandemic, the men slept far worse and (laughs) thus they are ruining every woman's sleep. It's fascinating. (laughs) Now the women are buying it too, but I just found that weird. Like it's an interesting cultural phenomenon that the men sleep horribly and how distinctly that affects women's sleep. Mm -hmm. And so I coach a lot and I'm like, ladies, sleep in your own room if you have to. If you do what you need to do, but sleep is first. So... Mm -hmm. So that's mm-hmm. always fun. And then, you know, I got a lot of complaints after that. Um, a lot of women came up to me after speaking engagements and said, you know what? Menopause is kicking my butt. I'm frustrated. I do everything right. I haven't changed anything. And yet all these menopause symptoms are really throwing a wrench in my life. Mm-hmm. And so I thought, okay, if I was going to design a formula for that, what would I do? And developing formulas is a big production. We have to go mm-hmm. into full production runs. We have to have funding. It's like a whole big headache. So I thought, let me test an idea if I, if I can make a tea and solve this problem. And so I designed hormone rebalance tea to be a jasmine green tea, three types of Tulsi, Shatavari, which is people here would pronounce it Shatavari. Mm-hmm. Shatavari is a queen of adaptogenic herbs. And it's also the king of adaptogenic herbs. <laughs> so that formula, I called it hormone rebalance tea. And all the women who take it have said, It reduces their hot flashes, their night sweats, increases libido. They feel much more calm and settled because three Tulsi's with a Shatavari, that's a great adaptogenic (laughs) blend. And then what's funny is I was Googling it the other day uh, for somebody, if someone was asking me, like, does it do this for this? And I was like, okay, Shatavari is amazing for men. So I could call it Mm -hmm. like men's performance formula, although I get in trouble, but like men's (laughs) something formula. I don't know. I, I, we have fun trying to come up with funny names. Um, it's a good men's formula too. If men need like support. You, you know, I mean, really all of those ladies have to do is just make the tea and give it to them. Just don't tell them what it's called. I mean, exactly. they don't need to know the name. Just give it to them. <laughs> They'll be fine. Oh so, my goodness. The, I do that with supplements. Funny. When my kids, when I'm going to feed them dinner, I still like to hand feed my children their dinner so I can ensure that a certain amount of nutrition gets in their bodies. I'll open a capsule of turmeric gold on the plate. I'll open a, a medical grade probiotic that I take. I'll just start opening supplements on the bottom of the plate. I'll put their food on top of it and serve it to them and they'll never know. And they got exactly what I know they needed. So <laughs> you guys heard it here. This is how you sneak in the supplements into the kiddos and probably yep. some of your and husbands. your spouse. Exactly. <laughs> little, little secret. Sorry, guys. It's it's real. That's what we do. You just don't. Know it's with it. love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I do it for my husband. He won't take supplements. He can't swallow a pill, which is so ironic. So when I make his protein shake on the weekends, I'm like, babe, I gave you two turmeric golds. He's like, thanks. Because they're they're in there, they taste like nothing, and then at least he's consuming it and he's getting that support, you know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, I mean that's that's how it's got to be. Especially, I mean, guys, and then there's some gals like us that just tend not to uh, also um, take their pills so often. Um, but that's that's a whole nother. That's a that's a <laughs> emotional podcast. We'll get into that later. So you also have something for carb control and. I'm I'm interested in that because of course a lot of folks will tell me like doc I can't tr- I can't tolerate carbs I get brain fog when I eat too many carbs I just feel all off tell us a little bit about where where that one came from and kind of how you mixed in that one together 
Sure. So when I was following uh, an orthopedic surgeon around seven years ago, I just kind of watched like, what do they do? What do they say to us? Mm -hmm. 90% of the time they're like, oh, you have acute pain. Here's an NSAID prescription. See you later. Some other large portion of the time they're like, oh, you have chronic joint pain. Here's a prescription. Go to PT. See you later. Um, or they say down farther down the end of the line, it's like, okay, well you have stem cell. That's an option. You can do stem cell PRP, or I'm sorry, you, you've tried everything. You've exhausted your options. Now it's partial knee, total knee, or a joint surgery of some sort. So what was interesting to me was at that very beginning point, when we have acute joint pain, a lot of the time they say, well, you know, I'm sorry to say this, but you really need to lose 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. And I remember him saying that to me once when I had plantar fasciitis. And I was like, that is so rude. How can you tell me I need to lose 20 or 30 pounds? He's like, listen, it's called plantar fasciitis. Your own feet are inflamed due to the pressure you're putting on them and or the fact that you run around barefoot on hard floors all day post baby. But mm -hmm. he's like, listen, when people have knee pain and foot pain, that's what I tell them. We have to tell them that that's for every pound excess on the body is four pounds of force on the joints. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay, well, that kind of sucks that you're sitting here just telling people all day they need to lose weight, but you gave them no solution. Like really, you should have said, please go to a naturopathic doctor or functional medicine doctor go find some support on this journey. It's not an easy one. Find a health coach. So I developed carb control with that in mind. If just if we could have support and craving less carbs and sugar, we'd get that help. Um, carb control is not going to be part of my product line after this year because no one believed that you could take a pill for that problem. It was mm. interesting. But I can tell you what it has in it, which you can take from someone else. There's a leaf in India, in Ayurveda, called Jamima Silvestre. That leaf, when it touches the tongue, turns off our ability to taste carbs and sugar. So that's the primary ingredient in there. Another good ingredient is triphala. Triphala aids in all digestion. It had cinnamon in it, which reduces, it um, helps control blood sugar levels, which we know is supportive to us, which we can just eat more cinnamon on our food. Um, but that formula I built with that in mind was just, if you were like diabetic or you were one of those people who craved carbs and sugar, you could take this to get that support. Um, I developed a tea to go alongside it. The tea we're going to keep because again, tea is way easier to design and make, um, mm -hmm. but metabolism boost tea is just a simple tea. I put curcumin, I put ginger. I think I put triphala in here. Yeah. I put triphala, fenugreek, ginger, curcumin. I don't actually like the taste of matcha. So I put raspberry in there so you don't taste the matcha. And then I put Jamima in here from carb control to reduce those cravings for carbs and sugar. And I added cardamom. So this tea is something people can take like a pre and post workout on ice with lemon, or it's something you can take just to ignite. Met metabolism implies like, like it's going to rev up the metabolism. It's going to rev up that digestive fire, which gives us that support that we're looking for for the same goal. I like the tea. I mean, yes, I can see where the pills, it's hard for people to, to kind of think that one through. But the tea, I yeah. think for a lot of women, when we're craving carbs, having something, you know, as a nice tea or a warm tea could be quite soothing for that exactly. stress response um, for us big time. Now, totally. interesting, you mentioned the gut. And you mentioned the digestive fire, and that's something that definitely with, with Ayurvedic medicine, Chinese medicine, we're always talking about like, how can we help the gut? How can we get things moving there? So yeah. tell us a little bit for, for folks that maybe aren't familiar at all at how this works. Those herbs together in the tea are working to make the stomach acid increase and in a healthy way, of course, but t tell us what it, what it all does so folks can kind of understand a little bit of the Ayurvedic side of things. Sure. So when it comes to gut health, there's, there's different approaches and th this tea is one of them. Uh, from the lifestyle perspective, I always invite people to start using a copper tongue scraper every morning. A copper tongue scraper is going to gently massage the tongue. It's going it to reduce toxins across all organs of the body, and it'll ignite the digestive fire in the morning. So I always start there. Then I tell people, look, drink something or consume something that's going to ignite the fire. So whether it's ginger, lemon tea, even aloe vera juice can be very clearing to the system in the morning. We love both of those solutions. And then when it comes to this tea, 
The way I designed it, matcha, of course, has caffeine. It's a very clean, purified form of green tea. So it's going to ignite the system anyway. That curcumin is going to reduce that inflammation. The ginger is gastroprotective. So it's mm-hmm. got that ginger in there, which is going to go in there and soothe that gut lining and support us. Trifula overall is so good for digestion. So a lot of people's issues are around inflammation in the gut, around um, lack of peristalsis and constipation. So many people are constipated. So Mm -hmm. this is definitely going to help the system move. And then it's also warming. Curcumin and ginger themselves are warming to the system. So it is going to light up that fire and get us supported. And then when I added the Jamima, I just wanted to reduce that craving for carbs and sugar. Because mm-hmm. again, so many of us when we're tired, when we hit that 2.30, 3 o'clock snack time, we're mm-hmm. craving carbs and sugar. And so I always like to have cups of tea around me, whether I drink everything hot. Um, this drink, the the matcha tea, I like it on ice with lemon. So I do that more pre-workout, post-workout. Um, but I find that if we can build tea into our life as a rhythm, I call it tea time is me time. <laughs> nice. Then all of a sudden we can pause, have that tea time is me time, check in with ourselves, check in with our intuition. Half the time I'm not actually hungry. I'm just thirsty. I'm like a dehydrated human who's going too fast, who forgets that hydration matters until it's eight o'clock at night. And then it's kind of too late to start chugging water. So <laughs> that's usually my time to check in and say, okay, what do I need? Oh, I'm I'm thirsty. How about I just drink two cups of herbal tea? That'll also get me to the goal. You have to be careful with your caffeine. So I always have herbal teas around as well. Nice. Nice. That's a great, you know, you do have to slow down to t- drink tea. You can't really go too fast on it, especially if it's warm. Iced, I see, I can see someone slurping it down, but the warm, you can't just chug that. So that makes sense. And so obviously you've mentioned that you are a coach as well for folks. And so it kind of shows up in terms of how you mentioned things and how you kind of have it all coming full circle here. And one of the the big things that a lot of folks will, will talk with me about too, is the brain fog and brain yeah. inflammation, I think is a really big, hot, topic. And so let's share with folks a little bit about how turmeric can help with brain inflammation and how, you know, that kind of plays in with the Ayurvedic system too. Sure. So yes. So, with, okay. A couple of things. Curcumin does stop amyloid plaques from forming in the brain. So we already have clinical published science around curcumin for Alzheimer's, dementia, and neurocognitive diseases. That's just in the science. You can Mm -hmm. see it on PubMed. That's part one. So I find that science very fascinating because I'm like, okay, well, could we build brain protocols? Could we build Alzheimer's prevention protocols using turmeric? That would be a cool new development (laughs) because I do see a lot of these huge brain centers opening and And I see a lot of people talking about it and I'm like, but are you actually solving things guys? Or are you just talking about it? Because I like to get in there and and prove it with people and then see if we can get groups together and prove it in a bigger way that validates it for modern science people. Mm -hmm. Um, Then when it comes to brain health, I see tons of people who come to me with brain fog. Um, I always say, look, gut is brain. It's gut brain access. We have to focus on the gut. We never want to do the work when it comes to our gut, but we have to because gut dysbiosis and leaky gut are just so prevalent. And Mm -hmm. we are doing so much constantly to damage the gut. How much do we do to detox and love on and support the gut and rebuild the gut? So that's one thing there. The other thing is I'm involved in a couple of things around Alzheimer's and science. I'm part of something called a Turmeric Biohackathon, where this group and I have come together and they, because they're way smarter than I am, they're researching and building code around the interactions between turmeric, curcumin, and all the molecules of the Ayurvedic herbs I gave them and our genes and whether it turns on and off our genes. Wow. I just had a meeting with them today and they're making a lot of advancements. Um, and so like, for what, for example, one discovery we made, which we have to reproduce, but the discovery we made was turmeric with ginger is better for Alzheimer's than just turmeric. Hmm. And I was like, oh, do you know how insane that is? It just proves that Ayurveda is always right. Ayurveda mm-hmm. says it's never just the one hit wonder. It's always the symphony of the herbs coming together with the intelligence of the body to create the result. And I was like, inflammation relief wins. <laughs> like <laughs> it's, It was right. It's just so funny how you can have 
theories and then you can see why one works better than the other. Um, and it's the ancient medicine that was right. So that always like makes me happy. Um, but yeah, I think that we as a society need to realize that everything we do will either strengthen or weaken our immune system. Everything we'll, we do will either strengthen or weaken the system overall. And so we can't constantly beat the body with a whip and expect it to produce what we want. Eventually it's going to break down. And even if we don't see it breaking down, it is breaking down. And we're seeing those symptoms. I call, I've, I always remind people it's inflammaging. It's inflammation. We're calling these symptoms aging. We're saying like, oh, my brain doesn't work the same. I'm tired. My I wake up stiff. No, this is oxidation of the system. And you have the power to change your diet, change your lifestyle, sleep better, optimize sleep, fix your gut move in nature more, allow nature to heal you above all, take good supplements to support you in all the areas that you're deficient or need support because our food is not a great food <laughs> supply anymore. And then really honor oneself with profound self-care. And then we can talk about why we have brain fog or why we have these symptoms. But if we're not willing to do the work, then the poor body is just a gas tank running on empty and we're just putting the wrong fuel in it and we're expecting it not to be inflamed when we're putting literally the wrong gas in the gas tank. It's not going to run. The system can't run like that. It has to get the support. Mm -hmm. No, it makes perfect sense. It has, it makes perfect sense. And inflammation is, I mean, when I run tests on folks, myself included, you know, my only thing that came abnormal on my, my metabolism tests. So through meta, Genic, not through metagenics, metabolomics um, through Genova. I mean, it was I had a high oxidative stress, and I see it on folks all the time. And it's inflammation at its finest right there in front of me. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yes, it's it's wild. And yeah. so one of the things that you had mentioned is that you're working on an adaptogenic formula, yeah. and I do think that stress, inflammation, gut brain access. I mean, it's all tied in here. So give us a little like insider scoop into sure. what you're looking at for your adaptogenic formula. So what's funny is we developed a tea for this six months ago. And because Maria and I on my team are so obsessive about labels, we forgot to design a label. We had to pick a color. Like it's a new line to develop a new tea. Anyway, I told her today, I was like, you know, the whole world is stressed out. We have our tea design bagged and sitting. I think we need to print the label and get the tea out there. And she's like, oh yeah, I forgot. We, we're just so busy with all of our travel for conferences. Um, but basically Ayurvedic medicine and Chinese medicine and these symptoms systems have such incredible adaptogens. An adaptogen, if you don't know, is a, an herb, a tree, a plant, a flower, an ingredient from mother nature that helps our body adapt to whatever it's dealing with. So for example, with ashwagandha, which is one of my favorites, mm -hmm. ashwagandha is so powerful. If you're stressed and anxious, it'll calm you down a few notches. If you're depressed and have the blues, it'll lift you up a few notches. It's like a thermostat. It just helps you go up and down as you need throughout your day. So one example I give is like, let's say you wake up in the morning and all of a sudden you've got like a flat tire, your kid throws up all over your car, you have an urgent meeting that you have to get to, and I don't know, your grandma falls and is in the hospital. Like everything's going wrong at the same time. Your system would automatically go into fight or flight. You are so threatened. You're trying to manage everything at once. Um, now, if you had something like a shugunda on board, although all those stresses are coming at you, the hit your body takes from that stress, the hit your adrenals take, your hormone system takes is much less because there's something inside of you helping you say, you know what? I will handle it all. I will prioritize this well. I will figure this out. It's going to be okay. And mm -hmm. most of us are so burnt out from the pandemic. I know even for myself, sometimes I'm like, I don't even know what to do. Like I have mm -hmm. lists of things to do. And I keep rewriting the list. And then I'm like, can you prioritize the list, Shivani? <laughs> what you're saying is you're never going to get ahead and you're not prioritizing. That doesn't make <laughs> sense. And then I'm like, why don't you take some ashwagandha and settle down and then just get the work done? And so that's what I found. I had an ashwagandha formula years ago. All the men would say, you know what? I just feel clear, calm, and focused. I can just get the work done like I've got blinders on. 
And I thought that was fascinating. All the women said, I feel like I calmed down a few notches and I'm centered so I can just get stuff done without the overwhelm feeling. So when I designed it, I was driving like 100 miles an hour down the freeway a couple months ago on 95 (laughs) here in Florida, and it hit me and it was just the order in which I was going to put the ingredients. And so it has ashwagandha in it. It has bacopa complex because that Mm -hmm. has helped me with my own brain fog in the past very powerfully, post kids especially. It has shisandra. It has rhodiola. Um, I have it written down somewhere, but it had one or two more beautiful. It has amla. I think amla is such a powerful, beautiful, potent superfood out of Ayurveda that's underutilized. Um, I had one more. I can't see it in my brain right now, but had one more beautiful adaptogen in there. And so then I called my Ayurvedic pharmacologist friend and I was like, this is my order. This is what I'm thinking. 400, 400 milligrams, 200, 200 milligrams. What do you Mm -hmm. think? What order? And so she and I reconstituted it. And so now I just need to, to kind of pull it together and create it. But in the meantime, I made a tea that has similar ingredients that can get the job done. And my hope was in the morning, I always hydrate and I have my first green jasmine tea because I love hormone rebalance tea and I get that support. Then I have another cup mid-morning. Then I wait at lunch, even though I want to drink more tea. And at three o'clock, I have my last cup of hormone rebalance tea. But then in the afternoon, when I get home to my kids, sometimes they're all upset and discombobulated. I'm exhausted and fried from my day. Like I, I, I need a transition. And so I thought calm tea would be the perfect like evening wind down tea into dinner, moving with nature. Then I get my deep sleep tea and then I go to bed. So that was like that. I needed a transition tea for the evening. I was having peppermint tea every evening because I love it and it's soothing, but I wanted something a little more supportive to give me that result that I wanted. Makes sense. Makes sense. And I like that transition because I think a lot of women will go straight from work to like whatever, second job, kids, right? Yeah. And life. And and there isn't that transition. So then the cortisol goes up because I'll see that all the time on saliva cortisol tests. And so, yes, having a transition is great and having something that reboots you from the one job to the next job too, like a rejuvenating thing. Correct. I, I like how you're thinking about this. And I think for a lot of women, this is something we don't tend to think about how we can support ourselves during the day. We think about like, I take these supplements and these things are supposed to happen, but what if it's about pairing? Yeah. Yeah. I have high tea every day at three 30 and that's my time <laughs> to remember, look, you are about to switch and you have to switch pace. Like it's literally like decelerating a car. Like it's almost like you're driving a Ferrari at full throttle. You're trying to get through your day as fast and hard as you can. And now to enjoy motherhood, I literally have to switch into my mommy car at mommy pace so that when you want to go biking or you want to show me your homework, I I can pay attention and be present. So I have high tea. And the, the tip I learned for myself with my health coach was I need more fat in my day. So I'll, I'll skip fat all day. So at that time, I'll sit and have olive, tzatziki, crunchy, salty, because that's what I'm into, like a mm-hmm. pita chip or something that's gluten-free. And that is my, my, I am satiating myself. Now I can switch to this next job happily. Otherwise it's all a train wreck to me. (laughs) Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, Thanks for sharing a little bit into your life here. Cause I think for a lot of people, it's, it's useful to hear someone who is not only a formulator of teas and supplements, but also like you have real life experience. Cause it does seem, you know, so much more imaginary when we look at products and and things. So you're really helping us connect to your brand and your your philosophy. It's great. I love it. Thank love you. It. <laughs> Gosh, we've talked about so many different things. I think we've we've given folks a really good good sense of fusionary formulas and and also just what Ayurvedic medicine can do and how the synergy of it works. So of course, folks can find you fusionaryformulas.com. What about like Instagram, all those, what are the handles folks can find you on those social media sites? Sure. So for fusionary, it's at fusionary formulas, RX, that's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all the fun places. I'm there as at Dr. Shivani Gupta for all those same channels. And my website's shivanigupta.com where I have lots of videos on Ayurveda mm-hmm. and sleep and gut health and all these fun things. And then we made you a special code, the Health Fix Podcast, to give Excellent. your listeners 15% off at fusionaryformulas.com on their orders. 
Oh, thank you. I appreciate it, folks. That is awesome. And I think this is, I mean, I can't wait to try out the the teas in particular. I'm I'm a very big like tea person. So I'm like, let's try some teas. Let's jump into this. Of course, who doesn't want a quality turmeric product? Obviously, you know, that is the foundation of everything with the inflammaging and things of that nature. So I'm thinking some teas combined with a little turmeric and see how things go. Awesome. I love it. That's how I live. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like it. I like it. Well, Dr. Shivani, thank you so much for coming on, sharing so much about your life and your your formulas, fusionary formulas, folks. Appreciate it. I look forward to hearing about this uh, adaptogenic tea as soon as it comes out. I'm going to be keeping my eyeballs on, on your site there and uh, awesome. jump on your newsletter so I can be updated. But thanks again. Thank I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Hey, Health Junkies, are you feeling just off, feeling like you're aging a little bit faster than you want to and wondering what in the world is up? Hey, I might have some answers for you and some direction. If you want to chat with me, I am offering complimentary calls right now. You can head over to Dr. Spelled Out, J-K-R-A-U-S-E-N-D dot com. Take my quiz, click on the schedule a chat, and let's talk and see if we can get you in the right direction. And if I'm able to help you, I'm going to let you know. Otherwise, I'm going to help you find what you're looking for. Head over to drjkrausnd.com and check it out now. Hey, fellow health junkie. Thanks for listening to the Health Fix podcast. If you enjoyed tuning in, please help support me to get the word out about the podcast. Subscribe, rate, and review, and just get that word out. Thanks again for listening.